The town of Templemore has a long history of flooding with numerous events reported over the last 150 years. Following feasibility studies, public consultation and planning, the OPW began construction of the River Mall floodery scheme in 2017. The OPW Biodiversity Action Strategy sets out opportunities where enhancement or restoration for biodiversity benefits can be used as part of the solution to flooding or drainage issues. The Mall River Flood Rescheme in Templemore is one such project where every effort has been made to mitigate the impact of hard engineering solutions on the environment. OPW with our partners made a huge effort in Templemore in terms of trying to help nature, make space for nature and help the biodiversity. So for example there was about 160 individual biodiversity enhancement components built into the whole scheme. About 40 of the measures are actually from a river-based point of view. They're all to do with helping the fish or the aquatic organisms. And the other 120 measures are all to do with the terrestrial, whether it be bats or birds or other, other mammals. The whole design is an environmentally friendly design. It's what we call a two-stage channel. So there's a narrow channel down at the bottom we call a talweg that gives a deep flow of water and fresh water for fish during the summer. But yet at least space, when the flood comes through, the flood can push through in a wider channel. But in the interim what it has is it gives lots of space for aquatic vegetation. The whole channel has been coated with high quality spawning gravels in consultation with Fisheries Ireland and that's proved a massive success. We have salmon, trout, brook, lamprey, lots of protected species now happily breeding in the River Mall in Tipperary. There's hundreds of little crevices and nooks and crannies built in through all the walls and bridges to facilitate birds and bats. There's two birds that specialise in Irish River Corridor, it's the Dipper and the Grey Wagtail. Both of them nest quite happily under the bridges. Every single bridge we built has, has space made for them. All the bridges we built and all the walls have provision for bats, so there's various types of bat boxes and bat bricks and bat crevices. For solitary bees and the pollinators, for example, we've created what we call bee scrapes. It's where the machine has pulled back the vegetation. We've created parts or areas of open, open ground, and that allows the solitary bees to tunnel in and make their homes inside the banks. There's a wide range of Irish species that have benefited from this work. For example, the otter. We've made a special home for the otter called an otter holt, or an artificial otter holt. It's where he's got a special chamber built into the bank with two access chambers. If uh, iconic birds like the kingfisher, everyone knows the blue flash of a kingfisher. He hunts the river mall, the new spawning gravels, and we've built a series of nest chambers in through the walls. We've learned a lot from Templemore Flood Rescheme. We've really learned that we can marry flood protection with protecting the Irish environment. We've left a huge biodiversity gain in the town behind us, so we've really learned if we all work together as a team with the environmental, the ecology, the engineering, all work together, there's no reason why we can't get a win-win scenario for society and for the environment.